Hi there, welcome to my channel. This is the second edition of Mac Noob Learns. So it's been roughly around a month since I bought the newest 27 inch iMac, the mid 2020 model that came out on August 4th. And from the start, one thing that I really wanted to know was whether or not I could mirror my iPhone 11 to the iMac for free, meaning that I didn't have to pay for some sort of third party app. With the previous mentioned, and I've also said this in a few of my other videos, I'm a lifelong PC user, so navigating my way around Mac OS has been a bit of a roller coaster ride over the course of the past month, but after some tinkering and some experimenting, I found out that there's actually a way to mirror your iPhone to the iMac without having to pay for some sort of third party app, and all you need is what I have in my hand, a lightning cable, and pretty much everyone that comes packed in with an iPhone, even the one that came packed in with this iMac to charge the keyboard and mouse, pretty much that same cable we've had for many years now, that one should suffice for what we have to do to get this iPhone mirrored to the iMac. So nothing out of pocket for any of us. As mentioned, there are apps out there that let you mirror an iPhone through AirPlay, but I've come to learn that most of them cost money. So if you're watching this and know of a reliable and free app, please let me know in the comments below. I'll greatly appreciate it. But for the method that I'm going to show everybody today, all you need is the mentioned lightning cable and to open up your QuickTime app on your Mac. And I believe this also applies to MacBooks as well too. So first pro and con though, this is free, so that's a pro, but you're tethered to the computer with the cable, and that's probably the only con to this method. With that said, obviously the first thing we want to do is get that cable plugged into the back of the iMac. Make sure you plug it into one of the designated USB ports on the back of the iMac. You could try to use a hub, but sometimes hubs just aren't strong enough to power it up. So you're going to plug in the other end to the iPhone. But before moving on, I'm going to start a screen recording on my iMac. And for those of you who are new to macOS, like myself, the key combo for that is Shift plus Command plus 5. And you'll get a little toolbar on the bottom for screen capturing or screen recording. What you do is you press that center button that says capture the whole screen. And then press the record button off to the right. So we're up and recording on the iMac right now. So after we get the phone plugged in, all we do is launch QuickTime and then the file picker menu pops up and then we head over to the menu bar and then go to file followed by new movie recording. By default, it's set to the camera on the iMac, but that's an easy fix. All you have to do is just click the little drop down arrow next to the record button and change the camera to your iPhone device and it'll mirror your phone's display right then and there. But you got to make sure that your phone's unlocked when you do it or else it'll just be a black screen just like this. So my phone's unlocked and everything's up and running and everything's being mirrored to the iMac 27 inch. And it's really that simple. So if you want to show off a slideshow or show some memes on your 27 inch iMac for everyone in the room to see, this option is available for everybody. And another really helpful tool that this method also provides is that since it's technically a movie recording or a screen recording, you can press that record button anytime and record at any given moment. So this is great for those who want to show off their mobile games or anything else your tech heart desires to record. If you want to show off a piano with no sound because I forgot to unmute my computer, that's an option as well too, but I'm kind of dumb and <laughs> should have unmuted. But let's try a game if you guys want to see Pokemon Go. Does anybody still play Pokemon Go? I'm like on again, off again with this game. Uh, whenever a new little event happens, I tend to log in. But for some reason at home nowadays or lately, it's been taking forever to load up. It actually went past halfway on the loading bar. That's really surprising. I kind of cut that off prematurely because I thought it was just going to get stuck at like 50%. But yeah, Among Us overnight sensation on mobile with amazing servers. Sarcasm aside, there was only like less than 100 players at one point for this game on a daily basis and overnight when it went onto mobile it just jumped into the tens of thousands. So you gotta give this little guy a break here and there when you can't get into a game. I've learned to accept it and you know it's free on mobile, you gotta pay for it on Steam and they gotta make money somehow. But anyway, that rant is for another video. But back to my main point of being able to mirror your iPhone screen to your iMac this right here what I'm doing right now is actually an added bonus to be able to screen record because this is a neat feature for those who are content creators who show their mobile gaming or even mobile art skills whatever it may be or even showing tips and tricks from an iPhone 11 it's nice to know that there's an option to actually record directly into your iMac rather than screen recording from your phone and kind of processing everything that way and transferring everything back and forth but back to my main point once again this is the free and simple way 
to screen mirror your iPhone to your Mac device. So this is going to be a fairly short video today and I really appreciate that y'all took the time to come and visit my channel. If this video interested you in some way, check out these others that have popped up by now and if you really enjoyed hanging out with me today, please consider subscribing to be the first to know when I upload something new. I'll see you all soon. Please stay safe out there. Take care.